I'm going to talk to you about five checkpoints throughout the body. We're going to be referring back to these checkpoints in all the tutorial videos. So, you start off with the head. Pretty much every exercise that you do, the head should stay in line. So what I mean by that is, when you stood upright and you're looking forward, the head's in line. Okay? You're not looking left, you're not looking right, it's in line. You're not looking up and you're not looking down, it's in line. So, if you're bending over and doing an exercise, you shouldn't be looking forwards, it should be in line. Okay? If you do another exercise, say where you're laying down and you're doing a chest press, you shouldn't be looking to the right. So it should always be in line to protect the neck. Now the next checkpoint is your shoulders. Shoulders and upper back. Now for most of us to sit down all day, you know, a little bit of a slouch, only a little bit for most people, and then a little bit of pull forward. You're trying to ensure that that's upright and those shoulders are back in the sockets. Again, when, you, when you're doing a pressing exercise, you're trying to avoid that. You're trying to keep them back in. And if you do the pulling exercise where you're having to pull something from in front of you, make sure that they're not hanging down and they're holding in. Okay. And the next one, which is really important, it's to do with the lower back, lower and mid-back, and around the pelvis and the hips. So you want to ensure that you keep that neutral position in the spine. Don't arch it in too much and don't let it hump out. So something like that would be if you're doing a lunge. Make sure that that's not aggressively arched in, it's held neutral. Okay. And then if you're lifting something, it doesn't bend out. Okay. Again, it stays neutral. Part of that is keeping the belly button tucked as well. That helps to protect the spine and keeping the pelvic floor contracted. Okay. Now, the next point down is the knees. Almost always the knees want to line up with the toes. So if you're bending the knees, you don't want them pulling inwards or outwards, okay? You don't want to be twisting around, okay? And we'll specify on the exercise whether the knees should be bent or locked out or just soft, okay? And then finally, the feet. The feet, they, they change for exercise. So most exercise, they'll be neutral, around about hip width apart and toes pointing forwards. So if it's something like, again, a lunge, and you go in and that foot at the back's pulling out, we're just ensuring that's lined up. But again, it ties in with hip width apart, toe point forwards. And if it's any different, we'll specify in the video. So keep all of this in mind when you're doing each of the individual exercises to make sure you stay safe and effective for your 12-week body transformation.